now it's so important to have those. I'm sure many people in the community were so happy that those were given out. Today. Yeah, I'm sure they were. And it just added that to the supplies. Uh, that you should be gathering a little bit, a little, because uh, you, no one wants the storm to happen. But, no. you know, when you get that hap storm happen or get close to you, you get that mad rush at the store. So maybe just a little bit, a little, build that hurricane supply uh, kit so it's not that one big hit on your wallet. And we know how important those solar powered lights were to yes. us yes. and can be in the future. Absolutely. So we don't want to talk any hurricanes, no. but what is our forecast going to be looking like tomorrow if people are trying to hit the boats and try to get outside, mm. maybe some cookouts on the Sunday? I think maybe in the morning could see some showers. Most of it will be inland though, but let me walk you through it here. But uh, here tonight, we just got a little bit of shower activity left uh, down in Marco Island. That's uh, kind of fizzling out, not overly concerned with that. Let's take a look though outside as we're starting to clear things out uh, as we look across uh, the Caloosahatchee here tonight. It's with Dell's temperatures. Well, on the warm side, uh, sitting in the uh, low 80s here tonight, and that's really pretty much where we're going to be sitting the rest of the night here as we're getting those temperatures probably bottom out right around 80 degrees, though some of us may be upper 70s, especially further inland you get. But I uh, do expect uh, another hot day tomorrow. 95 Lehigh, LaBelle, uh, Mockley get down towards uh, Cape Coral, 92 as well as down in Naples, uh, Fort Myers, Punta Gorda, right around 94 degrees, but uh, still looking at those feels like temperatures up into the triple digits again tomorrow afternoon say three four o'clock feeling like 111 degrees so uh, take that into account uh, as you work your way through the afternoon uh, maybe take breaks if you're gonna be working outside find the ac drain plenty of water you know the drill uh, as for the day itself though could see a few showers down in marco island to start the morning and really kind of spot stuff as we get in towards the, the 10 o'clock hour but i do expect most of the activity to be right near i-75 is rolling to about noon time and then really get going just east of I-75 around noon and then push inland out towards the lake. So scattered showers inland there through the two o'clock hour and then they kind of break up. Now we could see some other redevelopment as we get towards the Soto County, Arcadia, as we get towards about five, six o'clock and that now push out towards Lake Okeechobee as you roll into about 8 o'clock in the evening. So how much rain we're talking? Well, localized amounts upwards of about an inch, very similar to what we saw today. I just don't think it's what's widespread as we saw uh, this afternoon and this evening. Uh, that said, though, we are looking at rain chances backing off as we get in towards the early portion of next week, down about 30%. Monday and Tuesday. Now it builds back up towards the second half of the week, uh, but we are expecting some Saharan dust to start to work its way in. You see that across uh, the Saharan desert there in Africa, and then that pushes off with tropical waves, which, which if we didn't have the dust, we maybe could see some tropical systems, but the dust that kind of kills those storms. So big plume pushing across the mid-Atlantic right now. We also have another plume kind of breaking up over the Caribbean, and this is what we're kind of watching as we get in towards the early portion of next week is as that both plumes kind of push across of the peninsula here and that again limits those rain chances early next week it also brings us those hazier skies vibrant sunrises and sunsets but the bad news is is it could help feed our algal bloom so blue green algae the red tide in the gulf of mexico uh, as it provides iron a key element that promotes these blooms so that's something we're going to have to be watching uh, pretty closely but the good news is it does kill off our tropical development nothing expected over the next seven days that's good news uh, there but uh, still over the next seven days. We still get some rain chances out there. It's more inland stuff, especially Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and then more scattered increasing those rain chances into next week. But look at temperature, say Wednesday, 97 degrees, and that does not add in the humidity. Feels like temperature up into the triple digits.